What's up, guys? Hope everybody is doing well and having a great day. Quick update on a couple of things occurring right now as I do this video. Ongoing volcanic eruption down here in the Southern Caribbean, about 1,500 miles south of Florida on the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. There's a volcano right now throwing dark smoke and ash high into the atmosphere right here on the north end of the island of St. Vincent. They are evacuating people right now. You're looking down into the volcano. That's only about 38, 3,700 feet high, but it is throwing a fit right now. You're going to see a video from space, actually a very good video, of the smoke plume coming out of the volcano just a few hours ago, and they're expecting this thing to erupt even more as they're evacuating people. Right now, as I do this video, I've heard there have been 16,000 people evacuated, and there's more to come. You can find a story link below at yahoo.com talking about the ongoing evacuations and the volcano emergency in the Caribbean. Article dated April 9th of 2021. Thousands of people are under evacuation orders with officials saying an eruption is imminent and one has occurred and they are expecting more. We're going to come back and take a closer look at that volcano eruption here in a moment. You're going to see a very dark plume of ash and smoke go high into the sky. Quick update on the dual cyclones that were on a collision course yesterday, 24 hours ago. They have collided and they have formed one large storm as you can see here at windy.com. And that storm now is churning off the west coast of Australia, slowly moving to the west coast of Australia. Should be there in about a day and a half. This is a slow-moving storm. It is now turned into one storm. They haven't renamed it yet. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do that. But you can see the eye walls right here of the two storms. They're still kind of technically separate storms, but they're joining right now as I actually do this video and will become one storm. And this thing is humongous. It's got a leg down here on the, the lower right-hand side that extends out about 3,000 miles. Check this out. It goes along the entire southern border of Australia right there. That is definitely associated with this large storm system. Actually, there were two systems there that have now become, or they're in the process of, becoming becoming one large storm. And I've seen the Fujiwara before. That's what this is called, the Fujiwara effect. And a lot of times, well, actually not a lot because this doesn't happen very often, but the few times that I have seen the Fujiwara, the storms kind of danced around each other. They'll maybe do a, a figure eight or a loop around each other. Rarely do you see them collide like this and become one storm. Like I said, the Fujiwara, they usually spin off of each other and sling one around or get Get real close but not merge like you see right here that right there is a very rare event you're witnessing here from space the merging of two cyclones off the west coast of australia like i said right now as i'm doing this video this is occurring that is an unprecedented event now back to the volcano i've got some footage from zoom earth and from windy.com of the volcano as it was erupting earlier today and you can see a large plume of smoke and ash right there that's in the visible format the the visible satellite loop you can see it's kind of got a little bit of a, a different color even in the visible this is infrared this is generated by heat and you can see the the different shades of color there that's indicating a plume of smoke and ash coming from the north end of that island right there that would be the island of st vincent and there goes the plume going to this island over here is about a hundred miles that gives you some perspective of how large that plume is right there is a hundred miles so there's the plume at zoom.earth, and you can see how dark brown it is. See that? That's what I was talking about earlier. That was the first one. There's the second one. Much bigger, much thicker, and this thing could erupt again. It's throwing a fit right now. As I'm doing this video, I'm going to zoom in even closer for a closer look at this large dark plume of, of brown ash and, and smoke that's moving to the east. You can see the wind currents are carrying it to the east right now, but that could change any hour. I mean, that could change within the hour. But right now, it is still erupting to some degree, but earlier you can see there was a large, very very dark brown plume of smoke and ash that went high into the sky, probably over 10, 15,000 feet would be my guess. And that would be off the north end of the island of St. Vincent down here in the Southern Caribbean. So once again, a volcano emergency in the Southern Caribbean and the merger of two cyclones in the Southern Hemisphere is underway. They are officially now merging into one 
Large Storm System. This is a fascinating event, and I'll keep you guys updated as we move forward in time. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.